Target on our back, and there is Nikki Collin, the head coach of the Bears of Baylor. They lost two in a row, able to come back against Central Florida. Nikki say, we need to get our mojo back. Well, you're going to just see a lot of drives to the basket right there. They want to be able to be physical and aggressive right off the bat. The number one key in practice last night for Baylor, and again today, was their guards. They said they've got to pressure the paint, and they did. And not only that, but if you can get this, uh, you know, Wildcats defense in motion before they get set up, now you're picking. Well, Baylor wants to force Kansas State to play 94 feet. Nikki Collin telling us a couple of times, we don't want to get in the half-court game continuously with, with Kansas State. Gabby Gregory, far side, Sundell inside. Uh, you just got to be careful how you close out to the shooter. Sundell loves to go right, and she is a tremendous finisher. Last four games, Sundell has averaged over 16 points, shooting 60%. Sarah Andrews got it, and that has to bring a smile to Nikki Collins' face. Well, she's such an unbelievable three-point shooter. Now she gets to the front of the rim. They don't know how to guard her. Here's Kansas State, an offensive team that they had to make a couple of tweaks they're running more of a euro type offense without me yeah, it's a flow offense it's a read and react and here's serena sundell the junior out of maryville missouri Jeff Mitty says i want her to be a little more aggressive in this game well she's going to have to be with lee out of the Jeff game Mitty telling us she was the best communicator on defense can you see uh, for kansas state they play areas of the floor and they're great at helping each other She's only a 66% foul shooter. She has. She likes this team. Six points, by the way, for Kansas State. They've been scored by Sundell. Well, you can find the. the see, that's nice. But you, you uh -huh. got to make that. You can't miss the bunny. She's one of the players that gave them energy in the Kansas game when nobody else had energy. Yeah, well, she's that type of player. You have to have somebody who's going to bring it every time. The three, no. Whistle and a foul is going to be caught. Baylor feels like they can drive the paint on Kansas State. Well, you have to. you got to find these mismatches right here. Second on Sanchez. And that's one of the things about Kansas State. They're a little thin at the center position. By the way, we do want to wish Aoka Lee a quick healing process. Aoka, I know you're watching. Jump ball's going to be called. The senior out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, preseason all Big 12. Over 1,000 points in her career. It's, uh, there you go, the give and go. And they've got it. Smart. What a year it's been for uh, K-State. I mean, oh, they're yeah. playing great 12 in a row. Highest ranking in 21 years. 18 and 1. Great coach, great communicator. Players respond to what he does. He does it in a really special way. I mean, he, we go to his practices, and they're so special, they're teaching practices. From the outside, nothing but the bottom of the... 38% from the outside. Man, Sundell. Man to man defense. Baylor will go 2 3 on sideline and baseline out of bounds, I should say. I like when Nikki Kyle on a Baylor says, because we got defense, but we're really not our show defense, but we're not really good at it. <laughs> She's really at doing it on that inbound plays. Yeah, but you got to make your layups. Walker knows this. Andrews locks, loads, can't get it to go. Offensive rebound and the putback. I'm sure she's disappointed that she's missed uh, two of the foul shots so far. Oh, nice little out. She is very talented. She had her best game against Kansas the other night. Well, last year versus Baylor, she had nine points and six rebounds. Not intimidated by the crowd, whistling a foul. And, but Baylor shooting. It's almost 73% from the foul line. In this type of game, you gotta you got to make those foul shots. And again, it is Maupin. And just taking over on the rebounding side. You mentioned what she did against Kansas, a season high, eight points. That was more field goals made than the previous four games combined. Opponents under 60 points. 
And that is Jada Walker coming into her own. I think she Oregon knows game. the time on the clock, to be quite honest. It's only one. She gets it off. Not going to have it go down. She's done everything yeah. for this game the right way. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, it was such an accomplishment, and we're thrilled for it. Baylor started the game 7 11 shooting. Since then, just one of five. Also, the rotations are so good on defense for Kansas State. Yeah, a higher level of responsibility right now on the offensive and defensive end. As I mentioned earlier, talking to Serena Sundell earlier this morning. Here's Andrews out front. Sundell has the inches on her. You have to pass and cut, not dribble, because this defense, as we talked about, is so good. The shot clock is down to four. Moppin playing nice defense, but the spin move by Blackwell. And I love when she saw us this morning and also last night. First thing she walks up, she goes, I know. You're going to tell me two feet in the paint. Because that's what... You have to get paid. Yeah. If you're going to be an aggressive team, you get paid. You make people rotate. Check this out right here. This is great penetration. Look how somebody steps up. You cannot play in a meeting of three. You see three white jerseys. Now you push it up the floor. She has that clock in her head, and she knows Blackwell. I got to get this shot up. After the turnover, Nikki Collin going, go, go, go. You got to push it. Here's today Fritz, the transfer from Iowa State. Didn't play the last two games. Constant movement, slip, pass, and cut. It's as simple as that. What a pass! Walker threaded the needle and right inside to Blackwell. I think she needs to do a passing video right here. Her fifth double digit rebounding game. Direction. Sister to sister out of pass. One on the shot clock. Glenn not going to get it off. Eighth turnover already for Kansas State. On the season, they only turn it over 13 times a game. Count it. Baylor just had three stops and... Sundell up front, working on Walker. Now they switch. Yeah, well she's going to get a, up to a really great play, but a better block. I didn't know you had that in your I game. I didn't know either. That is fantastic. That's only her third block of the year. Glenn from the outside buries the three. They got fantastic three-point shooters. They've got to find those shooters. Here we go. Inside out against the zone. It was nice defense on the inside by Glenn. Kansas State, 10 turnovers in the ballgame. Edwards having a solid effort tonight. She hasn't missed a shot, 4 of 4, 9 points. Inside, count the basket. Because she's got 10 siblings. <laughs> well, first of all, Moffin is a great athlete. She plays hard. And you can see she's in the back of the zone. Mm -hmm. She's the talker, right? Early, loud, and often. But they're threading the pass. You pick up the dribble against this team. You're in trouble. Got Leroy on Sundell. Lost the handle. Got it back. Blackwell wisely decides to set it up. You can't take your eyes off it. Gregory... The shot clock that Baylor's got to be aware of. Felder takes Sundell baseline. No, gets it back. Quick put back. Sundell had nine points in that opening quarter. Has not scored in the second, and Gregory buries the three. Felder, nice dish, Blackwell, and they bail her out.
Hand back, it's so hard to be able to defense. Glenn floats and got it. That is pretty. This is Sarah Andrews' best season that I have seen her play. Just taking over leadership role for this team. The three from the corner, Barry. Jenna Van Guyenby with her ninth of the season. Well, Sarah understood the clock and just moved the ball enough to get that shot to her teammate. Van Guyenby, no points the last two games, and then they answer with their own three. So now you got to find who those shooters are yeah. right now. Gabby, you know, Gregory is wide open. Final 10 seconds upcoming. Defensive play by Glenn. You talked about her steals. But that's the way the first half is going to come to an end. 53% of their offense comes from points in the paint. 41 points a game. They have got to start going back to what their strengths are. Well, good news for Kansas State. Serena Sundell is back out on the court as Kansas State faces their biggest halftime deficit this season. This is only the fourth time they have trailed at intermission. They're two and one in games where they were behind. And they begin the second with the turnover. It's a great trap right there on the baseline. That's something that they really were not able to finish off on that great trap. Look at this right here. Hands are high. You come down. Okay, your teammate knows you need help. So here we go. Here comes Glenn. Here comes Gregory. And you don't want to turn it around because if she passes the basketball, right. it's going to be a layup. Baylor 13-1 and one when they lead in intermission this year. Gregory got hot late in the second. Sundell inside. No effects of the ankle. Nine points in the first quarter. None in the second. Gets her first two here in the third, and the lead is down to seven. Well, I guess so the MVP right now is the uh, training staff over at K-State for what they're doing. Oh, yeah. See, they don't play a lot of pressure on the ball. They're playing areas of the floor. It's kind of like being a realtor, location, location, location. Yeah, exactly. Right? So they're mirroring the ball. They're taking away the inside and the drive. From the outside, no. Ball tipped around. Kansas State will have it. They actually do a drill at Kansas State where they wrap kind of a rope around three different players' wrists, and they all have to rotate on the offense together in unison, almost like a marionette. Yeah, it's, it's actually a smart play. Good ball fake right there by Gregory. But for me, you know, that rope thing, and I'll get back to it in a minute, is she's sun, she Sundell. She's just surveying where she can go. And the fact that her teammate lifted, opened up the drive to the basket, and nobody wants to come weak side because the shooter... Three stops in a row now for Kansas State. How about the GOAT? From outside, Gregory nips the front of the rim on the three. Yeah, that was a, a good look for her. She was just fading a little bit to her left and didn't get her feet set underneath her. Baylor likes to have two ball handlers on the court at all time, and they do now. Walker splits it. Baseline a little bit strong for Little Page Bugs. Well, we talked about, you know, the shooting in the first half. You know, Jeff Mitty is known for defense. Look at these numbers, Nancy. These are solid again for Coach Mitty. Well, that's why they're number four in the nation, because they are able to take away your strength, and then they continue to attack it. And you're seeing you're seeing a different team come out in this second half with the tenacity. But you can't turn it over. Baylor has been scoreless on their last five possessions. Good defensive play. Walker grabs her back. Not allowing any of that contact. Hands were up. She was vertical. Foul, by the way, was on Andrews, believe it or not. That was her first. Kansas State, they haven't scored in over two and a half minutes. They do such a good job of driving to somebody who's setting the screen and then slipping the screen. Sundell, that is a tough shot. Remember, she hurt her ankle, still stopped out of dying. Yeah, that was a beautiful play. I love her counter moves. You know, just recognizing how she was being played. 
Career high field goal percentage for Serena Sundell out of Maryville, Missouri. One more time, the defense, the zone defense seems to be bothering Baylor right now. Elder for three, that's going to be short. Offensive rebound and the putback by Blackwell. That is the uh, seventh offensive rebound for Baylor in this game. Yeah, that's what Asia uh, Blackwell does. She always goes to the ball. Baylor plus 10 points in the paint. Here is Moffin. How about that? Talk about balance. That was Kansas State's first missed free throw attempt, by the way. They're six and seven so far tonight. And the lead is at six. You know, every time we talk to uh, Nikki, it's like a tutorial on how to play basketball. Exactly. She is so good, so smart, has great understanding of this game. This Kansas State defense is solid. They don't deny much. They're a gap defense, but then they get the two from Walker. Hey, we didn't see that in the first half. We didn't right. see that. We get a quick rebound. We look up the floor, and now Baylor is chasing. Lead cut to four. You have to get to the shooter on air. That time, just a little bit late on that corner three, short corner three. Fowleroy drains it. She's got a dozen in the ball game. Lead goes back to seven. And it is loud in Foster. You know, in big games like this, you're going to have to weather the storm. And Baylor has done that. More and more of that young guys and girls who, you know, their sisters playing. Riley Glenn out of Kansas City. The outgoing of the two sisters coming off a season high, 13 versus Kansas. Coming into this game, she was two threes away from hitting that 50-40-90 mark. That's unbelievable. You know, that's 90 from the line, that's 40 from three, and 50 from the field. That is hard to do. Sundell almost committed the foul. Then she forced the turnover. you got to fake a pass to make a pass to move the arms of the uh, defender. Moppet running the floor well. That's pretty. You know, I always say a, a pass, a dribble moves one, a pass moves five. Well, the last three games, Andrew's only 4 of 22 from three and has really struggled. She's really struggled shooting the basketball. This is going to be the foul shots in Sundell. 67% from the line. Can't get that one to go. Gets the second. Baylor in this quarter, they've had 11 possessions. They've turned it over three times. They've only hit two field goals. Well, here's what I know. In close games, you either win with free throws made or you lose with free throws that are missed. Closing it on three minutes to play here in the third, and we've got a big-time game going on as we thought it would be. Sundell playing straight up. The three. Into the hands of Felder. And I don't think Baylor's defense gets enough credit. I mean, they only give up 58 points a game. And tonight, their defense has been on notice. Baylor turned it over for the 13th time in this ball game. Their scoring drought now, closing it on two and a half. They can switch. They can push you off player to player. They can switch all five. Glenn, no. Got the own rebound back. Walker, they throw it away into the hands of Andrews. Andrews takes it herself. Got it. And they need this Baylor. They need her to get back into this game. She only has four points. When she is at her best, she creates her own shot. Struggling a little bit shooting the basketball. Well, she's one of the top ten point guards in the country. You mentioned she's on, you know, the Lieberman watch list because I don't vote, by the way. Right. It's not me. It's the media from across the country. Got clock inside of five. Baseline out of the way. Won't go down. Little Page Bugs had a good look at it. Sundell gives it over to Glenn. 
Felder jumps out on her. Now they switch. They have a little hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kansas State 9 of 12 from the strike. Baylor 8 of 15. Last year, she got to the free throw line a lot. Five and a half times. There you go. Give him a possession, not a score. And there's Van Geitenbeek. Last year had a play with a busted nose. Not enough. Not a bit. Shot clock at eight. That was a travel. Drive, and you're just a little uncertain what you're going to do. And again, today Fritz has not played the last two games. Sundell in traffic, and a foul is going to be called. A Baylor shot 58% of the first half. They're only shooting 33%. Baylor 23% here in the second half. You know how many foul shots they shoot in practice, right? Wow. Every day, after practice, during practice. Final shot at the buzzer, and it won't go. But I really feel one of the big differences in the game uh, for, for K-State uh, right now is the fact that they're getting points in the paint. That's something that has been so good for them, and that opens up the three-point shot. And we are tied at 47. The last Kansas State lead was at 6-4. to four. The key in this game, I think, are both teams are creating turnovers with their defense. Fifth tie, by the way, in the ballgame. You know, and both teams only have 47 points. Sundell, Gregory, left wide open, catch, shoot. Mopping battles. It'll belong to Baylor. They're just not moving the ball as crisply as they would like. Well, they've only had one assist Baylor has here in the second half. See, there you go. That is so exactly. beautiful. The perfect five for five shooting. Glenn. Sundell had a step on the defense. No. Good team effort with the rebound ending up in Edwards' hand. The other thing for Baylor, they've only been to the foul line one time in this half. And they must attack. That's what actually got Kansas State into the game. Right. They were attacking and getting to the foul line, even though they missed a few. Walker to Moppin. Moppin plants the feet. The three. Got it. Moppin's first three-pointer made this season. Well, that's going to be a highlight for her because she's been playing so hard. And, you know, that's a dare me shot. Well, this the first lead now for uh, Kansas State since it was 6-4. This time they just go around Edwards. In the corner. Van Geidenbeek answers with a three. That's her second of the ball game. Those are one of the two best offensive sets they have had in the second half. Gregory to Maupin, wide open inside. Heads up play by Gregory. Fantastic pass. Colorado, and again, as mentioned, played Stanford two years. Andrews a long three, and they may have to check the backboard for a crack. Well, her. she had to take that shot. It was wide open for Sarah Andrews, but you can see right now Baylor is a little bit hesitant in their offense. Gregory, oh, they almost left her open. The steal. Andrews to the hole on Walker, and Walker will commit the foul as she goes into the camera then. Perfect from the strike. Comes in averaging 12 and a half a ball game. And she's had one three-pointer made in 16 to 17 games. You have to believe in yourself and just cut down on the turnovers. Neither team has really taken advantage of those turnovers. 15 points off turnovers for Baylor, 13 for Kansas State. Here's Walker. Solid defense. Way to stay down. Shot clock about to go off. Blackwell goes for it. She's knocked over by Gregory. And the possession arrow will belong to Baylor. You're going to have turnovers sometimes. They're playing so hard. They know this means something when tournament time comes. And it's three seasons. There's there's the in-season, there's the preseason, and then there's the NCAA tournament. Baylor got a little bit lucky on that. Ball was tipped, but it ended up in the hands of Blackwell. 
Blackwell goes to double digits. Three Baylor Bears in double digits. Moppin. Gregory was parked inside. Great position. Tries it again. Archer glad the rim is round. 355. Nice pass inside. Blackwell had position. Moppin recovered greatly. Wow, that was wow. a sensational pass. And really should have been a bucket by Blackwell. Some De Dell got a step on Van Geitenbeek. Ends up in the three. Blackwell had it. That's going to be a travel. Everybody in purple in front of that play was making the same call. You got two ranked teams. Now it comes down to details. Doing the simple things. Well, you have to master the things that take no talent. It doesn't take talent to play hard or to give that extra effort. Oh, what a nice move. That was pretty by Sundell, who's now got 16 in the ball game. Uh, I think that's going to go on a highlight. Now. I think so, too. That was quite the move. The little pump fake. Blackwell gets in the paint. Baylor's gotten away from scoring in the paint in the second half. And that was one of their keys. Two feet in the paint. Sundell, the jump pass, throws it away. This is what we're doing. Because you, you must communicate with one another. Deep in the corner of the baseline is air ball. They worked so hard on their defense in the preseason. How they're going to play it. They have certain barometers of what they have to do routinely. Sundell so savvy out front. Gregory again. Saw the mismatch. Took advantage of it. One of the things... We talked about it before, but Gregory does such a good job of playing without the basketball. She's savvy. Look at her. She's posting you oh, up. Yeah. She's pinning you. Then she's using her body to create space. She is a well-taught basketball player. Now coming into 2024, Gabby Gregory was second in K-State history in free throw percentage. And we landed her. Well, she's a senior. She's got the confidence to know this is what I have to do right now for my team. Baylor attacked the paint in the first half. They haven't done it in the second half. That's allowed the Wildcats to go on a 6-0 run. And even if you're not shooting the ball well, penetrate to the basket. Try and draw some fouls. Nice job just holding her position by Edwards. Shot clock at one at the buzzer. Baylor will have it as we hit the 60-second mark. I mean, Baylor is right here. You just have to have a couple solid possessions. You know, you have to believe in yourself and what you've been taught within this offense. Walker's been quiet for Baylor tonight. Only two points in the game. And they throw it away. They are out of timeouts. But they've got fouls to give. Baylor, four timeouts left. They're going to play for the stop. Sundell breaks down the defense again. Walker from the outside. Maupin had the rebound. Lost it. Still loose. Baylor's got it with 10 seconds left, and they'll burn one of the timeouts. Felder will bring it in. Oh, they're going to call the foul, but they do have fouls to give. Sundell has been absolutely outstanding, along with Maupin in this game. Absolutely. Coming back off the injury, she's just been superb. But that was a great foul right there. When you have them to give, you might as well take them. You have to. What was that? My goodness, that was just a brain cramp. Walker... On two crucial possessions, one at the half, one now, was so unaware. But you've got to make sure a three-point shooter can shoot it. And the rejection by Glenn, and that's going to do it. What?